Good morning, everybody. Morning. Welcome back to Split here in Croatia. This morning, we kind of said goodbye to the family. We dropped Cleo off first. It's okay. Thanks for coming. For so long. Guys, we're good travelers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> travel soon. That's all right. Thanks so much. Bye. We'll see you I'll in see a few you months. <laughs> yes. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. And then we went and dropped my parents off. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Good so morning, Phil. So Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you, my love. Enjoy Turkey. Uh, okay. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, thank you. Oh, bye bye is not good. And that's the end of Gulliver Travels with Steve and Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun in Turkey, guys. You'll love it. Bye. bye. And now it is our time to go to the airport. We are pretty much leaving Croatia, and I wouldn't have expected this being the third time that we've come to this country in 12 months. But I know. We're heading to a brand new destination today. Country number 60. 60. Wow, today's a special day. Alrighty, back at the airport. Okay, we need to listen to the calls because that was the final call, but first time flying Norwegian Air. They're a low-cost service, so we'll see what it's like. We almost missed this one. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. We're in Finland. Wow. For 40 minutes. Oh, <laughs> kind of wish it was longer. When we were flying in, it was so beautiful, but yeah, just a 40 minute layover. What a cool looking airport. <laughs> this is not what I want. <laughs> this is not what I want. We won't get that. <laughs> I Come on. They won't. True if fans. Gets that, I'll be shocked. This is not what I want. This is not <laughs> what I need. <laughs> is it? Okay, hey, we just came off the flight and they said we needed to come here to get us a second And we came in from Split. Yeah. Parents were right to warn their boys about you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dublin Airport. Please remain seated with your seat belt and keep the aircraft from all the game until the end of the flight. Cold. That is nice cold though. <laughs> it's like 11 degrees. It wasn't even 11 degrees in Iceland, was it? No, I don't think so. This feels nice though. Welcome to Dublin everybody. We're going to be in Ireland for the next week, but before we tell you all our plans, we have found a super cheap place it's called the City Air Link. I think it's about 7 euros each to get into the city. I'm going to give it a try because I think Uber, it was taxi meters. I can't tell you how much that is, but I mean, this sounds pretty cheap. Oh good, I think our bus is here by the way. I love it so much when an airport makes it so easy to get into the city. Literally jumped on a bus, 25 minutes later, we jumped off and our hotel is right in front of us. This place looks so cool. Alrighty guys, we are all checked in. Welcome to Ireland. We are so excited to be here. We have never been here before and always wanted to. We've heard amazing things and we're actually here for a whole week doing a road trip. And we started in Dublin, staying here the night. We're staying at the Trinity City Hotel and we'll quickly show you guys around. And then before it gets dark, we've, it's like seven. So I think we need to go out for dinner. But um, before it gets dark, I want to quickly go out and explore a tiny bit of Dublin while we can. But yeah, this is where we're staying. It's like a massive room, but we noticed, so we quickly wanted a coffee. And they have not English breakfast tea. They have Irish breakfast tea. And now I need to know if it tastes any different than the English breakfast tea. Because that's what we have at home. Like that's your standard black tea. I also, we've barely eaten today and I was having a Google and they say that Dublin has the oldest pub in all of Ireland. And I think we should go there for dinner. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I think it said it was like built in the 1100s. Wow. A pub. What? That's crazy. This feels so weird to be rugged up. I can't have gloves on. 
Oh wow, yes. I haven't seen what? you in like long pants and a jumper so since. Weird. Since when, Jessica? Well, raise your beanie. Since Iceland, you thought this beanie was just going to be used in Iceland. I mean, you got I mean it, it kind of was the easiest thing to grab when we were just going through our bags. Just remember our little Iceland corner. Just unzip that because we couldn't use it when we were there. But um, hey, at least we can finally use our cold clothes. This is so nice. This is so nice. So refreshing from being in like heat for months. For quite some time. Yeah, it's like 11 degrees at the moment and it feels it's so amazing. nice. It feels and so nice. I never knew Dublin. There's this like big river that goes through the city, which I didn't know about. So we're going to be walking to the pub. It's only a 20 minute walk from our hotel. And there's so many pubs along the way. I'm like, literally, we could go to any pub we want to, but we have to go to the oldest one. Usually when you go traveling, you can like spot the Irish pub. Like I remember when we were in Peru, we're like, oh, there's the Irish pub. Every corner here is the Irish pub. <laughs> So, I probably should have thought that the um, oldest pub in Ireland is probably going to be the busiest pub in Ireland and there were no places at all. Luckily we're coming back to Dublin so next time we'll reserve a table. Yes, I think so but the security guard was super nice. He said just go across the road, tell them he sent you and they do just as good food. Alrighty guys, we've just been given so our excited. pub meal. I asked him what I should get and he recommended getting the fish chowder and it looks amazing. It is like thick and full of salmon and another fish. And it also comes with, this isn't just normal bread, this is Guinness bread. So okay. it's made with Guinness. I feel very much like I'm in Ireland right now. Okay, we need a taste test on that Guinness bread. Mm. Does it taste like Guinness or? Oh my gosh, that fish chowder is really, really yummy. I've gone for like some fish and chips. I got my mushy peas as well. This is exactly what I want right now. I know. I'm currently on very little sleep, so this in me, then hotel. Mm. Guys, I am pooped, food coma, everything. <laughs> I know for you guys, our travel days go like this, but for us, it's a bit of a long one. Waking up at 5 to take Clear to the airport, and now I think it's 10 o'clock. I don't even know what's the time in Croatia now, midnight? Maybe. Alright, I, think, I so. think it's time for bed, but I am so excited. The road trip starts tomorrow, we're picking up our car tomorrow. If you guys have any suggestions, we're kind of sticking to the north part of Ireland. So what we should eat, what we should do, places we should see, let us know below because you guys honestly give us the best suggestions. But if you are new around here, if you are, <laughs> if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button because the island road trip is just beginning. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Cheers. Guys, it is literally just us, the cliffs, and a 500-year-old castle. Driven nice and early to the dark hedges. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get uh, into my bathers then. <laughs> Let's put some seaweed on. And they all just play and the watches on the hillside.